All right. <clears throat> so we were a monk in what was this? The uh, like witch hunt era, fourteen hundreds or something. Is this the same? Oh my God, it's so dark. I think a similar setup to uh, when we were Anthony. Anthony, was that his name? I think so. I forget this guy's name immediately. Monk guy. Doors locked. Oh yeah, we have sanity refilling items. Which makes me think we're not going to... Makes me think we're not going to get the tome. That must be like an audio bug. Jesus Christ. Let's just reload so that that doesn't happen. <laughs> We know there's nothing upstairs, so we can just go straight on through. Crispy audio. I think it has something to do with the torches. I think there's usually like a torch on screen when that bug happens. <clears throat> For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! The ghouls. A murder. A murder most foul. What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Bullshit. Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But... Hold your tongue, Franciscan. Or it might bring my wrath upon me. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. Who are we going to trust? The normal looking monk guy or the ghoulish robed guys with their skin falling off? It is so fucking dark. A framed fragment of written verse. It is in Latin and makes references mostly to diabolical diabolical entities and how man is dominated by them if he strays from the rights of protection. Painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight as though it has some value beyond being a precious gem. Well, they think we're a murderer and now we're just actually a thief, so that's good. danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die. Get to a bell tower. Brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. Oh yeah, our guy's name is actually just Luther. The old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. Oh God, it's gonna be like a stealthy segment. We are a monk. We don't have a weapon.
A somber portrait of a monk stares icily from the wall. Something about those grim, staring eyes sparks doubt and suspicion in Paul. It's the face of a holy man. Wait, so I think our name is Paul Luther. Which is like super religious. Super religious name. The emerald's deep green surface reflects the light inside it perfectly. Its cut is the work of a master craftsman. Dude, it's so fucking dark in here. I can't see anything. The somber portrait of the monk. Aw, oh, shit. It's tome time. You'd think, like, a man of God like this would be like, mm, maybe don't pick up this... This book on top of fucking screaming faces. Oh, he actually has less health, too. But I think he has more... Magic? Uh-oh. Crispy audio. What do we got over here? So fucking dark, man. Doesn't help that there's a reflection on my TV screen, too. Makes it super hard to see. What if we just leave? Goodbye. Paul cannot leave the cathedral until his name is cleared and the real murder has been uncovered. To run away now would be an admission of his guilt. It's actually super valid. Spooky. Don't like being in the cathedral. Is that corpse still hanging out? The altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbed by this sight. What faith does the order practice? Hmm. Well, their skin is falling off, so probably something not very good. So dark. I didn't realize there was a door there. Crossbow bolts. Pretty sick. There's a leather bound book. Book of relic reliquaries. The fuck? Creepy painting. Not sure if it's intentionally creepy. The Spartan bed shows how the Order treats its visitors. There's no sign of the Order's own quarters. This chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is a dead one. That's true. What's this book about? It reads, Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than can be garnered from the tithe resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their religion to their dio dioceses and thus became more lucrative. Well, it could be said that a false hope is still hope. Relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous thighbone flute of Connaught, while being forgeries, deceive the righteous unjustly. Their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. Let's save really quick, just in case. We did get through a couple cutscenes that I would not like to uh, have to rewatch here. All right. Can I do get a torch, please? More 
crossbow bolts. The bellows mechanism supplies the organ upstairs with air. It requires an expert hand and attention to keep in working order. Near the organ, a steel mace is mounted on the back wall by means of a display armature. Alright, that's pretty rad. Uh, we can also enchant that. So let's assign. That'll give us a little bit of light too, which is nice. Plus now we have the purple enchantment, supposedly the best one. Alright. This monk don't fuck around no more. Oh, fuck. Well, <clears throat> didn't see the little buddy there. Come on. Hell yeah. See ya, fuckers. Really no point in fighting any of those enemies. They're really easy to run by. A wine cask. Used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong for it seeps through the cask, filling the air with a heavy aroma. Well, we accidentally stepped on that guy. That's unfortunate. We got the easy way out, though. Wondering if the damage field can potentially hurt it. No low to the ground. Oh, I think that was just two of them, like, stacked. I think they do disappear after you touch one of them. Alright. What's the point of the wine cellar here? Anything? Any purpose? Very bizarre. Hmm. I'm hoping one of these isn't like different. Ah, there is one that's different. Knock on this cask results in a hollow thud. It is empty, but why when all the others are full of maturing wine? Clever, clever. It's moments like that where I, I feel like the logic just works, you know? Oh, that's not even... Let's get a recover purple. I wanted to do an assignment on that. Recover, assign, purple. Get some sanity back here real quick. Ow. Oh my god, that dealt so much damage. Jesus, man. Move. We're out of MP. That's bad. This monk's a little bitch. Jesus. Please, man. I just need some health back. Thank you. That's the unfortunate thing about being low health is uh, you don't move as fast. So you don't get your magic back as quickly either. It kind of compounds how fucked you are. Nice try, big boy. All right, now we're healthy. God, the range on this sucks, dude. There's a massive granite vault covered with hideous boss boss reliefs. 
Never heard that before. Scratch marks running along the floor make it appear that the crypt has been moved many times. Ow. Son of a bitch. We're going to get a little bit more health and then we'll uh, hop in there. Hit him with a bait and switch. Maybe we're trying to cripple his arms. Dude, I hit the fucking thing. Oh, man. I don't want to be reduced to, like, super slow movement. That's why I'm trying to keep my health high. Because if we get comboed, we we'll probably get killed from this level of health. Ow. Son of a bitch, man. Fine. Everything's fine. Or I guess we could step out of the room even. Probably a better idea. Aha! He doesn't exist over here. Get our magic back. That dude took all my magic away. It's a shame they give me a uh, sanity replenishing consumable when that's like the least of my worries right now. Nice. Try and get enough for a weapon enchant. I don't know how much it costs. Just about that much. Beautiful. Okay. Fuck you, man. Oh my god, dude. The range on this may sucks dick, dude. <sighs> that blows. This dude is, uh, maybe we need the the crossbow take that guy out man no we don't oh my god dude i know we don't need the crossbow we just need to outplay him that's the true solution all right we have everything we need get the mace Yoink. And we'll even try to avoid getting whisked away by those uh, trappers. Although maybe we should just get them out of the way so that we don't have to worry. Hold on. Let's try and cast damage field purple. Oh, that can kill them. Nice, that's awesome. Kind of figured as much, but... Okay. We're topped off, ready to go. We'll enchant the mace. We didn't save after we set our preset. Fuck. Here we go. We will assign recover purple. There we go. Now we will save once more. That way we don't have to deal with the little buddies on the floor. We don't have to deal with changing our presets. God, that costs so much to use. All right, you big bastard. We'll bait out an attack. Okay, let's just get in there right away. Dude, this guy's range sucks so bad.
We're literally not even hitting him. Fucking nice. His swing is so pathetic in terms of the range. Our little damage field is still there. Maybe that's what we should use. Pop a damage field. Bait him into it. The problem is that requires magic. Kind of hurting for magic. Especially because that heal didn't even put us at a good range to get faster movement. Ugh, it's painful. Quite literally. There we go. Now we're feeling a little better. Run back and forth in the hallway. Charge up a little bit. Almost there. The thing is, I don't remember how much it, we need to uh, cast the damage field. I'm really worried about that. <laughs> That was just the damage field falling off. Thought maybe something was like appearing. All right, come on, old man. Give him a second. Catch your breath. I guess we could have just reloaded our save, truly. That's got to be enough. All right, spell list, damage field. All right, the field is up. How effective is this actually? charge our magic over here. Uh, hard to say how much that did. It's cool that it, like blocks him off though. I do see blood shooting out. Hey, okay. That works. So we get the crossbow, that might be a pretty decent tactic. Cause uh this range is really bad. Jesus man. We got the sapphire. Looks like we might need one of each. Who to thunk? Let's drop these in right away. Game loves the red, blue, green. Triangle. Hidden in the alcoves of in the of this mausoleum lie the remains of departed monks. Some have turned to dust, others have grotesquely withered, leaving husks of bone and leathery skin. That's pretty spooky. Alright, let's save. God please let me save. Don't wanna have to deal with that shit again. Now we just need red. Enchant this bad boy. Just so that we're ready and we can see. The lighting looks really nice. I'm amazed, actually. And was there another path? Maybe out in the church proper here. There was a doorway, maybe. Anything going on over here? There's the organ. Wonder if that's of any significance. Playing the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul, who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play the organ if there was some music to play. Alright. I guess he's talented enough to at least do that. Alright, 
what's on the reverse side here? Cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from aged varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. Or maybe it's rain that causes that audio crackle. Darkness is coming. We can't save for some reason. Paul notes that the door to the old tower is locked. Perhaps the custodian might have the key. Dude, this guy runs out of uh, breath really quickly. Make sure we top up here just in case. Oh, here we go. Torch hangs upon the wall. Maybe we'll actually use the torch as a weapon because it kills enemies pretty, pretty handily. Now can I save? Yes. Thank you. Don't want to lose that two minutes of progress. Heavy wooden chest sits against the room's wall. It appears to be old and worn. Crossbow lies within. Hell yeah. A woodcut depicting of the effects of the plague. Spirit of death incarnate cast final judgment over a wealth of victims. How many bolts do we have actually? Ten? That's not too bad. They're probably pretty strong. The rat carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use. As Paul draws the robes back, something tumbles from inside. Paul's found the podium key. Now, I don't remember seeing a locked podium. But maybe behind the altar? The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings. Disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. Yeah, this is uh, maybe not the most welcoming uh, church here. <laughs> just saying. Just putting that out there. All right, let's see. I'm also curious if there was anything like tucked away on the side here. Maybe not. Make sure our sanity is looking pretty good too. We got the magic. We might as well use it in these uh, down times. All right, let's see. There's a podium up here. Is this the podium? Looks like it. A simple podium and lectern provides a platform for the priest giving a sermon to his congregation. There's a drawer recessed inside it. Kind of document. Diary page. Diary of Brother Andrew, page one. I finally arrived at the Amiens, Amiens, Amiens. I know they said it before and I don't remember how they pronounced it. I'm going to say Amiens. And my pilgrimage to see the hand of Jude draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in our world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubted it. Oh my god, this dude's so stupid. <laughs> As his corpse lays just feet away. So that podium key, unless there was something else in the drawer, that didn't really do a whole lot for me. The key's gone, so that was the only use. Hmm. So there's nothing there. We do have a torch now. Maybe we could go upstairs and be able to see a little bit better. Because it was really fucking dark up there. Was there also something opposite? The oh, fuck? Was this locked before? A framed fragment of written verse. It is in Latin and makes references 
Oh, this is the same. Oh, why is it? This room was so dark before. This is the room with the uh, emerald in it. A somber portrait of a monk stares icily. That's an understatement. About the iciest stare I've ever seen. Right, let's uh, save her up. Thank you.